What up, YouTube? Mandy Hops here. How you guys doing? Um, so not that long ago, I did a video about some old people in Las Vegas. Um, there are about approximately, I think this number's low, 6,500 homeless people in Vegas. Um, between two and 3,000 live in the tunnels underneath Vegas as you walk. Um, I talked on this a little bit, guys, and this is another reason why you guys should like, share, subscribe right away. Uh, more than 50% of you that watch my channel, like, all the time, because I see it on the analytics, aren't subscribed, but you're still watching. I make videos that are real, and I just put them out right away. I put them out when I'm feeling some sort of way. I put them out when I'm drunk. You guys know I'm feeling some sort of way and drunk about every day at some point, so there's been some crazy videos out there, and sometimes I'm like, whoa, and I, I watch them back, and I'm like, you can't put that out. Not because I don't want to tell the truth, but I just don't think it's smart or safe or maybe it'll hurt someone else. Um, but if you are subscribed to me, you normally, and a lot of you do get to see them before I erase them that day. Um, but I put a video out about this guy already. For those of you that don't know, I'm dating a guy in the tunnels. I am. Um, he's extra special because he lives in the tunnel half the time and then on the porch of a trailer park. So that's super cool. Um, He's got an addiction problem, all right? I had an addiction problem. I just got rid of mine. I'm not God, you know? Um, you're going to be around people with addiction problems. Even on the other hand, that doesn't mean I have to walk down the yellow brick road with him. I digress. Let me explain. So this guy was a regular of mine. I could tell he liked me. Like, it was clearly obvious. He was a little cutie, you know? Um, he would come in every day and... He would get a Heineken and send me $5 and he would like try to make small talk, you know, like I could tell he was there to like more to talk to me. Right. And we just got to know each other. Like we were cool more and more. And like, the, like, uh, maybe after I've been talking to him for like a month, like I saw him looking out the window. I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I just want to make sure nobody steals my bike. Cause he didn't have a chain to lock it up. And I've seen out here in the middle of the day, boom, even if you do, it doesn't matter. I work off Boulder freaking highway. Okay. All there are like temporary uh, hotel houses, like the weekly budget hotels, um, trailer parks, liquor store, prostitutes. That's pretty much where I work, that area. So, um, and yeah, everything gets stolen, and that's just Vegas. So he also had a bag of stuff out there. He didn't seem that concerned. And nobody else where I worked would have either. I don't know why I was. Because I felt like he was like my buddy, my little buddy. You know? And I was like, hey, those people out there eyeing up your shit, man. You better go. And he goes out there. And I see him talking to them in the car. And I was like, do you know them? He's like, yeah. He's like, they were eyeing up my bike. But I told him it was mine. So you can see the crowds that, <laughs> that run around my job. Like, this girl first said to me when I first started, don't ever date anybody off Boulder Highway. And I would concur with that as I date somebody on that off Boulder Highway. But guys, like, we know it for what it is. And let me explain. When I'm, I'm dated the most famous bum in Vegas, trash. And he's not famous for a good reason. He's not. But when I met him, I thought he was a bartender. Working at the bar, I met him at. Okay? Like, I thought he worked there for real, for real. I thought he was a bartender. Um, Like, you know, I would take him to the bar every day. Like, he'd go to work, whatever. Like, because we were hanging out, like, every day in the beginning. It was super fun. It wasn't until after we were boyfriend girlfriend I found out like the whole deal, you know. Um, so and we wound up dating four months, and you guys saw that ended. Now with this guy, he told me everything up front, and yeah, I still went out with him. Um, he told me he has a job, and he does. Um, you know, I know where he lives, and he. Um, how do I say this? Like, I, he told me he was homeless. Like, like when it was getting close, maybe like a week before we dated. Both his mom and dad died. He went back to Long Beach, where he's from, went to the funeral. When he came back, it was Friday the 13th. And that was his birthday. And I offered to take him out. Because, like, dude, this, that's such a sad time. We'll have to deal with it. And we had a great time. And we've been friends ever since. We do everything friends do. We eat together. We watch movies together. We spend the night together. We swim together. We, we do it all. And um, we're very bluntly, like, honest with each other. 
And so he knows what I'm co- trying to get away from. You know, breakfast guy's like, what are you doing? But guess what? Me and breakfast guy would be doing the same shit. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I messaged him like, hey, what's up? And he's like, I'm going down to the tunnels for a little bit. I got some business to handle. <laughs> There's no business like show business. What kind of business you think they're handling in the tunnel? Okay, okay. He knows I know. Like, I know. And he goes, and I was like, what business are you handling in the tunnel? I just had to ask that, like, stupid question back then. He goes, to be honest, like, I just want to get high. I'm really tired. He's like, I'm just being honest. I said, I appreciate your honesty. Be safe. Part of me would really, I know he would show me the tunnel. Um, I know he's not, like, eager to. I don't think he would even want me down there. But part of me doesn't want me down there for, like, a plethora of reasons. One, I am more invested in showing you guys the tunnel and the people in the tunnels than most people that go to the tunnels and make videos. You know, um, me being with my ex that lived down there and me hanging out with a guy that lives there and goes there now. But also, like, I don't want them to associate us together. Like, like you could be a target for, like, a million different reasons, whatever their sketchy reasons are down there, you know? And um, it's kind of like two different drug camps for the most part if you had to put them into teams. There's, like, a meth camp and a heroin camp. The heroin addicts don't like to hang around with meth people because they're, like, ruining their high. They're too sketchy. They don't like to hang out with the heroin addicts because they're going to get robbed. Um, <laughs> like... It's just, it's, it's, it's weird. Um, but definitely another thing I wanted to do that I wanted my ex, and I'm not trying to compare trash and him, but they're both, uh, kind of like homeless boyfriends. Um, they're both born on Friday the 13th. They both have a meth problem. Uh, they both lived in the tunnels. Like I was always going to have trash show me how to get around on the bus. I've never taken like a public transit bus. You know, like other than the J in San Francisco or something like that. That was a train. That doesn't even count. I don't know what happened. But I want to know just how to do it. Like if I ever wanted to take it. And like who better than with somebody like him. Because those tunnels are crazy. Dude, he's used to, he lives crazy. Like, um, sometimes it is a good thing to have like friends from low places, dude. And there's always like a cop on the uh, buses. And I've just heard horror stories. But I just want to know how to do it. You know? Um, and there are like actually weirdly a lot of things we teach other each other so I'm not mad at the friendship um I am like delving into getting myself uh more into working out and eating healthy you know and I can't put myself like in a in in a bad situation you know what I'm saying um but yeah for right now like he's not going anywhere you know what I'm saying um I just thought I'd let you guys know we might touch on the I would really like to get him to kind of tell some of his story and there's a couple other guys uh that I would like to but I kind of want to cover their faces, too, for their safety. Maybe, like, put a bandana over them or something. Um, and I do worry about the tunnel guys, because, like, he used to live harder than he lives now. So it's not necessarily about what drugs he's doing. It's about who is he doing them with, how is he doing them, what is he doing, who is he doing, is he doing? Um, but, dude, I'm not his babysitter right and he's not mine we care about each other we have a good time you know um but yeah that's it but i mean it's some concern and it's weird even having those kind of conversations like to me it's not as weird as you think <laughs> um but when i say it out loud it does sound crazy it sounds crazy it probably sound crazy if your daughter was telling you or your sister or your best friend um it's not like you guys don't, you know, I don't have low self-esteem. Could I date somebody else? Yeah, probably. I'm not even really even trying to date right now. Like I work all the time. So if I can get somebody that I can just like kick it with and chill and snuggle and watch a movie and go swimming. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I really enjoy him. I enjoy his company. Um, but it's a lot. Like it just kind of boom. All of a sudden just like happened. I wasn't expecting this. So, anyway, I just, I thought I'd let you guys know, and I'll keep you updated, and uh, hopefully we can make some of those videos, and you guys can come along. Later.